What's up, everybody? Warlock here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, where I'm giving you my tier list of all the Apex Legends, ranking them from best to worst. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on notification bells so you guys don't miss out on future Apex Legends content. Let's get right into the video. Welcome everybody. We're going to be talking about today is we're going to go over my tier list for season three, ranking every single legend in season three, best for what's ranked, best overall, all the good stuff. Okay. So what I want to do is I just want to talk about these real quick. Uh, these legends, I had a, a really good video during season two. I ranked all the legends in season two and that went down very, very good. Uh, we had a lot of controversy about where I ranked Bloodhound. A lot of people um disliked i'll say disliked they really disliked where i put bloodhound in um during my rankings but i feel like it was justified i you know but for all you bloodhound lovers out there you guys are going to be relieved i have a new rank for him uh from last season last season i believe i put him in c or rank or tier c i think or tier d um but i have a new ranking for him and i hope you guys really do enjoy it so a few things right off the bat is ranking these legends um based on the meta for season three and how everything is kind of shaped into season three now most of my rankings are going to be based off ranked play because ranked play is just far more important pubs you can basically use almost any legend and just have a really good time playing the game and just having really you know just having a fun time with the game and utilizing those legends abilities to their full extent in publics because even with the skill-based matchmaking that they put into the game, it's still not as good as it could be. So um, we're not going to spend into too much detail breaking down each character, but we're going to go through and rank these guys out. So what I did was is that we're going to start from the top down. So in tier S, the best tier in the game, the best legends in the game, just overall continued uh, are going to be Wraith and then now Gibby. Okay, Wraith and Gibby are by far the best legends in the game um a lot of you guys are going to be upset about where i placed pathfinder in the game because last season i ranked um in tier s both wraith and pathfinder pathfinder falls a little bit short because of how the ranked meta has been but s tier gibby and wraith wraith still among the top legends in the game if you look at the win rate and popularity she is still by number one worldwide win rate she is still number one by worldwide by 20 percent um, most almost every single game Wraith is still at the top she's in every single team she is just overall her portal being able to phase is just outstanding it's a great team tool now with Gibby Gibby's shield is just with the added health the 75 addi additional health from using his gun shield is just too strong it's very very hard to come back Gibby now especially in ranked with his dome shield and then his ultimate is just a game breaker towards the end of the game or in choke points in this map which proved to be very difficult for players because there's these main choke points you can sit and just wait so Gibby is just a tier S player okay or tier S legend I should say now moving down to to tier A okay we of course we have pathfinder he dropped from tier s to tier a we also have lifeline and then i also put bang in tier a okay now both lifeline and bang are going to kind of swap with the two legends i have ranked in tier b but that's just like an overall so i feel like overall lifeline and bang are still better than the legends that i'm going to have ranked in tier b um which are tier b is caustic and watson okay so now for ranked play i would swap these i would swap watson and caustic for lifeline and bang in a ranked match pathfinder solid tier a he should oh he should be tier s but i find that the meta for ranked is basically wraith caustic and gibby or wraith cause or wraith gibby and caustic or wraith gibby and path or x so um or watson even watson has proved to be really really good in these choke points towards the end of the game pathfinder enough said about him pathfinder is still probably overall one of the best legends if not the best legend in the entire game so i'm not going to talk too much on him lifeline and bang i have them in tier a for their utilization like their utility the smoke is very very good against these choke points being able to move your team through open grounds lifeline is just a good support character overall she has been since the game actually released so i'm not going to talk too much about her there's not too much to argue there tier b i put caustic and i put watson the reason these two are in a overall or in b overall is because 
from a team standpoint and public lobbies, they're just not as good as the other two, Lifeline and Bank. Now, I would swap these two for ranked play. Absolutely, I would I would put Wraith and Bank, or excuse me, Lifeline and Bank down to tier B and Caustic and Watson up to tier A. Just their their fences, Watson's fences and Caustic gas is just too strong late game, especially in ranked. It's just too good. There's no way around it. Fighting in that gas is just so good for your team. And both of these characters provide so much teamwork and so much utilization for your team. It's hard to replace them. But right now, I have them ranked in the B tier. All right, now we're moving down. C tier, I have Octane. Um, Octane is just, you know, he's been kind of a disappointment. I felt like overall, he's uh, he would have been a much better character. Now, in the popularity, Octane is ranked fourth overall at 13%. Um, like, utilization, like 13% of the players in the world love, or like of the games in the world, Octane is being used. I think he's a very fun character. Public lobbies, he thrives. Like, I think he's just so fun. But I think from a mobility standpoint, you would rather have Path um, or... Yeah, basically path from a mobility standpoint. He just does more for your team. He gets you into better positions. He gets you to better places faster. Okay. Also in the seer tier or seer tier, I have crypto. Okay. Crypto, the reason he's only in the seer tier, C tier, guys. I'm saying like seer. Uh C tier, guys, is because of the buff that he got um during the last update, which allowed his his little um drone to when he goes ultimate and stuns people it, it does damage to armor that's dropped on the ground it was a huge exploit that happened right when crypto came out when his ultimate went off all you had to do was just drop your your armor onto the ground it didn't affect you because the drone doesn't deal health point damage it only deals shield damage but now if you drop it it will deal damage to the shields okay so i have him in the c, or c tier and that's the only reason why otherwise he would be lower lower now uh rounding out the f tier all you bloodhound fanatics i have bloodhound and mirage both in the f tier overall these characters just have not performed the ultimate buff to mirage just doesn't do anything he's he's probably one of the weakest characters as far as teamwork or things he can do for your team in the game he's a solo character in solos or duos he's probably much better but in public lobbies or even ranked i find that mirage is just a very very weak character bloodhound again the reason why he dipped down and he's not swapped with crypto is because crypto's drone is just better his tracking mechanism is far exceeds bloodhounds even that little buff they gave to his tactical which allows you to fo follow footsteps at a farther distance and it kind of just shows them a little bit better isn't good enough it needs to track them throughout the entire time you hit l1 or you know uh q and use the ability for his tracking mechanism it still just leaves them right where they were it doesn't give you most valuable information crypto's drone does that it constantly pings where enemies are and, and puts a marker on them so you know where they are bloodhound just doesn't do that on the other side the only benefit and i said this in my last video guys is that bloodhound's ultimate is probably one of the best in the game uh from a public standpoint from public lobbies it, you get the huge speed buff it zones out everybody but your enemies, footsteps, grenades, all that good stuff. It's really good. Ranked, these two legends just don't do anything for your team. They just don't. The tracking mechanism doesn't do enough for your team. And Mirage has absolutely no benefit for your team. So from an overall standpoint, my F tier legends are both Bloodhound and Mirage, guys. So let's count it down from the beginning, all right? So S tier, we have Wraith and Gibby. A tier is Pathfinder, Lifeline, and Bang. From a rank standpoint, I would swap those two out for Caustic and Watson, which would be in the A tier. B tier overall is Caustic and Watson. C tier is Octane and Crypto. All the way down to the F tier, guys. I'm sorry, is Bloodhound and Mirage. Let me know down in the comments if you agree with my tier list, if you, what you like about it, what you dislike about it, if you would change any legends in the tier list. Or if you agree with me, let me know. Let me know down in that comment section, guys. If you did like this video, drop a like thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future apex legends content and overall guys this is my tier list for season three of apex it's been a very long season i cannot wait for season four stay gaming guys i'm out peace